Hello everyone. Some interesting news here. So Russian partisans have struck again, this time setting fire to a Russian Su-34 at an airbase. This video is shared online. So it shows a Su-34 at Shalyabinsk Air Base in Russia being set ablaze. Now, the video is only a minute or so long, and in it, we don't see the Su-34 becoming a blazing wreck, but the fire is spreading by the time the video cuts and the people filming get out of it. But we can't say for sure if this Su-34 was destroyed or damaged as the video cuts out. But you can tell that this is a recent video as well because of the snow on the ground. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen partisans get onto Russian air bases and cause damage. Remember, last year, or was it the year before, some Car 52s were blown up at a Russian air base. And as for other partisan activity, remember a month or so ago, a railway line was blown up in Russia, again, by partisans. The Ukrainian page that uploaded this says the Director of Intelligence of Ukraine is behind this. Now, I don't think that means an agent was sent in to destroy this jet. Rather, the Director of Intelligence likely got in touch with partisans and rebel groups and that sort of thing, and funded or even arranged it by supplying intel and the like. Here's a photo of Chelyabinsk Air Base. It's home to the 108th Training Regiment flying An-26, An-72 and Mi-8 helicopters. It's also home to the 2nd Guards Composite Aviation Regiment. They fly the Su-24 and the Su-34. As you can see here, this airbase is pretty far from Ukraine, so these Su-34s won't be used in the war. However, given reported high Su-34 losses, remember, it was Su-34s which were given a rodering by Patriot over her son of the Black Sea lately. There's always a chance that aircraft from here may have ended up being sent to Ukraine to supplement numbers and become more fodder for Patriot. Or it shows 23 Su-34s listed so far, and at around $50 million an airframe, that's a sizable hole in Russia's coffers. Russia had 149 in service at the start of the war, but we do have 40 of the SM variant on order. Here's a photo of one for you. It's a twin-engine strike aircraft, which entered service in 2014. So that's it for this video. Some interesting news here, and I hope you found the video interesting. Now, before we finish, I'm going to play a video from Sana about the ongoing fundraiser. Thanks very much, and take care, everybody. Okay. Uh, hello, Sukumimus community. I'm Sanath. Um, hopefully, you've seen the earlier fundraisers that we've done and my relationship with Yuri and my connection to Ukraine. I'm here out in the east. I've been staying with the guys for a number of days. It is cold. The conditions are harsh, but our spirits are high. Um, with your continued support, we'll be able to get this over the line and keep this fight going. Thank you very much.